Hello guys and welcome to a different kind of video. The only reason I'm wearing a hat is because I've just got out of the bath. This video is going to proceed in a photography video. So if you don't like it, just click straight off here guys. Only because, number one, I'm into photography and I'm into fishing at the same time. So I made fishing home. So I am going to post one or two like photography videos up here. This is just basically saying what type of things to go into if you are into photography what type of cameras can you buy cheap dlsrs cheap eos's canon nikon whatever you're into we've got a few today also in this video i'm gonna be going through good gear to have for your dlsrs or even your camera whatever camera you've got guys i'm gonna show you the greatest things first two things is actually what i'm using right now a tripod Get yourself a tripod, guys. Get steady shots. I will insert some photos into this video at the end, probably, to show you why you need to use a tripod image stabilisation. Because, if you're like me, I use manual focus, where you do it yourself. So you need a clear shot, and if your flash is off, it makes it twice as hard. Because that kind of messes up, because if you've got your flash on, you hold it straight down when the flash is on. So when the flash happens, that's when the photo gets taken. If the flash is off, the times can vary. So that's the next thing. First, the gear thing. A box light. Always loved my box lights. Literally, as you can see, it's great for videos like this sitting down. Second one, like I said, the tripod. Next one is your camera. This is my camera without anything on right now, guys, because I've got a couple extra parts. As you can see, I've had to take the battery clip off just for this video. So yeah, it would particularly come in this bag, but then I thought, this bag's not going to be big enough, how much stuff I'm, I've got, like. So then I bought, one sec, this bag. As you can see, it got, like, phone chargers and that coming out of it. So I've done a, cust a few customizations to it. Let me just sort it out. So, guys, I've got a thing. My phone always dies wherever I go. So I've made a USB port that pulls out of the bag from the side so then I can keep it in my pocket so if it rings I can still hear it. If I put it in the bag, I can't hear it. Depending on what type of photography we want to do, depends on the lenses. This is a, yeah, this is the 18 to 55 Canon lens and this is what I use for more like photos like this say or even sometimes shots outside, anything, wildlife photos sometimes. But it's not a good extending photo if you want to zoom into something. So that is why I've got the 75 to 300 millimeter lens, which, as you can see, is oof, good nine inch lens. So guys, that is just great. Literally, I use this for most of my shots, which are far away. Like tonight, now we've got like a full full moon, bright as they can be. So this is what I'll be using tonight with three times more optical zoom. Only because you can like crop down the video. But if you're into other, any other lenses, just search it up. Literally, we're like the 50 mm's or anything like that, guys. So now, guys, for now, back to the camera. So this is the 600D, guys. The best thing about it is vloggers love it because you can flip the screen. So if you're filming like that, so it's basically a camcorder type of thing. But it's great for taking photos. There's no battery in it, so it's not going to work right now because the battery's over there with something amazing which I've recently bought a battery grip guys a Canon 600D battery grip so what happens these are the batteries I I do expect that you get a second battery because these only last like not too long but they do last if you're doing like a day shoot that's why I bought the battery grip so you can put two batteries in it instead of having to take it out and start again to if you mount it on the tripod you've got to take it off lose all your way your focus is so that's why I bought the battery grip. Double the battery capacity. And the best thing is, it provides more grip for your, sorry, it takes a bit of time. There we go. And then when you've got it on, you just tighten that up, guys. Which leads to, number one, a way bulkier camera. But if you want to shoot it this way too, you've got the button by there, guys. Because look, you can like knock it on and off right by there. So that means you can take it this way or even this way guys and it gives you an amazing shot especially like this because instead of usually you'd have to go over like that and sometimes you cover the lens as you can see i'm doing you can stay down and go across by there so that is why i bought that and just yeah so typically 
if I'm using this box, it can be with any lens, guys. Absolutely any lens. So I'll just put a lens on for now. As you can see, that is the 18 to 55. Let me just flip that in a second. The 18 to 55. Oh, one sec. Always use lens caps, guys. Lens caps are amazing things. Or this one. It, it is quite heavy with that one on, but it does. I gotta admit, I am. When I'm taking photos for a long time, my hands do get like a bit wobbly. So this actually helps you stabilize it because you've got more grip on the camera because you can double grip, single grip, and then autofocus, manual focus, whatever you're into. Autofocus, but as you can see, guys, I've always got. Where is it? There it is. Man manual focus on. Only because, like, if autofocus does it for you, focuses the photo for you, gets it all crisp and clear. The reason I like manual more, guys, is because it just makes you feel, yo, I took that photo. I've literally focused on myself to perfection. So that is why I like to use manual focus. I don't know what you're into, guys, if you're not into that. Use autofocus if you're just starting out, but then try to tip into manual focus if you possibly can. A second thing I would do, I've only got a cheap second camera, guys. This is the Samsung, I don't even know what it's called. I bought it for like a fiver, but it has got the Canon S, no, Canon, sorry, that is just with my camera so much. This is the Samsung S10 65, which is cheap camera if you just get into it. it takes crisp shots it takes normal batteries normal batteries it's good for like a second camera if your cameras run out and you really want a photographer at an event and it's just way lighter what way way more lighter let me just knock my camera off before it dies the next thing i would buy guys because the cam, all the cameras let me just get it up has got a flash a small flash it does take some really good shots with it but i'd get yourself a built not a built on a flash to go on the top so then that makes it the camera even more bigger but these flashes actually you can set to like the amount of flash that you want you can set to the exposure you can set to like the different modes you go on manual Set in one and set in two. Set in one is mostly like outdoor photos. It depends what flash you've got though. But like, the only time I don't use flash is wildlife photos. Because sometimes it spooks the animal and then you've lost your photo. Then you've basically lost your picture. But the only time I've used it is with a chicken photo. Is with a chicken photo. And that was only because it was just, it was looking dead into the camera lens, and I was like, "Yo, I'm gonna get a good photo, but you know." And that is that exact photo, as you can see, it is on my Instagram. Instagram photography page will be linked in the comments, guys. So I will have a look for a couple of good photos on there now in a minute. The next good thing is to have it if you're into video making, as you can see I am. The only time I don't use it is when I film off my phone. Sometimes I film off my camera, depending, like if I go fishing, I'm using my phone. I'm not gonna take a thousand pound plus gear with me. Or, yeah, phones are dear guys, but they're more repairable than cameras. So I've got a cheap, cheap, when I say cheap, they're like 30, 40 quid guys. But the only thing to realise is make sure that battery hasn't run out. Sadly, mine has. I left it on overnight. I left it on overnight. There was still a bit of power in. That's why I'm keeping it. But it is... Look, I've literally left it on now, guys. I've left it on. So I will be needing a new battery. But this is just a basic mic. If you got the money, get a road mic straight up. But if you haven't, get a cheap mic. Cheap mic works the same. But if you don't want to fork out after forking out on just the camera forget about all the extensions take that off a second there is a mic built in those four little dots right by there that is the built on mic i'm gonna have to stop this the next amazing and when i say amazing thing is if your canon batteries have run out these boxes the real ones off canon i don't if you want to buy it straight up just to get it's about the same though if I'm honest, they work exactly the same. This one cost me, f oh, how much was it? £30, I think. 
the real Canon ones smell like £200. They work exactly the same. The only difference is with this one, I think it does with the Canon one. I'm not too sure. I will look into that. This one, if you're all your batteries run out, and when I mean all your batteries, you can use six normal batteries, guys. This is amazing. You just plug them in. And literally, I think these batteries I've already used. Yeah, look, I've used these batteries, but get stronger ones because these ones lasted hardly any time. Uh, I, the JCB ones, oh, I'll show you my bag in a bit. It's just got like 30 plus batteries in it because most of my equipment here uses batteries, including this. This uses s s six batteries, six batteries, guys. So that's the next thing. What else have I showed you? Mm. Oh yeah, this, this is amazing guys, if you're into photography like me, just out and about doing it, instead of just holding the camera around your neck, I've got this one, it's called a shoulder strap, you just keep that around your shoulder, and this will slide up and down, let me, I'll stand up and do this one. As you can see now. guys, this literally goes across you, and it slides up and down, so then you can just hang your camera on your side, you guys, I'll this do it right is now. the exact thing, it just holds on. We have got quite good clips. It, it screws into the bottom, guys. It's basically like the it screws into the tripod. It screws into your, cam the, your camera. I wouldn't recommend using bigger lenses like this because it could get easily broke because it's on the side of you, and that will produce like an extra gap. But these are actually good because say it's down by there now, when I see something I want to photography, it slides up the line itself. So literally, instead of all. You just having like the hanging thing, it's literally out of the way, and then you can get your photo. And then when you're finished, drop it down nicely, and it just hangs there. I'm just gonna show you now quickly off the tripod. As you can see, it just hangs freely off you. As you can see, there's all my camera stuff, it hangs freely. But if you do want to keep it nice and steady, hang it close to your leg, like that, guys. That's the best way place to put it. So, guys, the next thing is price, like. My Canon with the, what is it, the, one sec, let me just take everything back off. To get these off is quite easy. One, two, three, three seconds. This, literally one second, that's it. So when you're packing away, it's quite qu quick. This plus this lens comes in at £850. So throughout this video, I'm going to make a list of the pricing of this camera and then I will look through eBay and find cheap DLSR cameras, Canon and Nikon. I don't use Nikon myself, nothing against it, still a great camera, I used it once before, a Nikon, oh I can't forget, I then forgot the name now, but me, I'm a type of Canon photographer, so let me just price everything. So when I was just working everything out, I checked up how much my camera was. It was 850, but it depends on like what year model you get, you can get some like for 650. The total was, I got a camera, extra lens, battery grip, batteries, extra batteries, light box, tripod, my camera bag, 30 batteries, that's something like a fiver. Charging port, if you've got two batteries, get a charging port. And then I got the normal car Canon charger and then this shoulder camera grip thing I call call it. And that comes in in £1,420. As you can see guys, that is quite expensive. But if you like set yourself goals, like I got a goal sheet that I want to like for Christmas, like already I've got like stuff on my Christmas list for photography. Like a cheap, just a cheap one guys, if, you, if you're not too sure how they work, a cheap um... A gimbal. A gimbal basically is a can camera. Instead of you having to stabilize the tripod, it basically does it for you electronically. But cheap DLSRs now for you guys, because as you can see, if you can't afford that, not saying that people can or can't. Yes, it's expensive, guys. But if you can't, I recommend the Canon 100D, especially because you can get them as cheap as like 150 pounds. And that is actually works out to be a really, really good camera, if I'm honest. So now I'm going to do a bit of research for all of you and take screenshots of the following. Do a bit of a voiceover from and just see how much stuff are for all of you guys. And I'll search some like extra lenses, 
like especially these two i do recommend these to a lot of people just because number one they my favorite lenses and they can do quite a lot guys i know this is like a bit of a long video it's basically a good documentary if you think about it but on my cameras <laughs> which i find mad Ex other stuff that i carry in my camera bag guys as you can see it's Quite a big camera bag, deodorant, God knows how long you're out. Extra money, I carry photography cards just in case someone noticed me, like for an event or anything. Batteries, 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 batteries. Love my batteries. You've got tissues, you've got an extra camera cord just in case. I've got my camera, battery, what is that? Okay, I'll have a look at that. I'm not gonna check if his arm come off, I think. Um, extra batteries, as I just said. Got like a couple like note pages and are in your and then I basically just got other kinds of stuff, but guys. So basically, these camera bags are... Oh, I forgot to write the camera bag down. Did I write the camera bag? Camera bag, yeah, don't worry, 30 quid. 30 pounds, guys. 30 pounds for a lightweight. And look, guys, you can slot your tripod right in there. Should sure, I just... Yeah. <laughs> but the only thing I didn't include was this. In that. So now I'm going to do a bit of research for you lot. The first camera was £199. This was the 4000D kit with one lens that was the 18 to 55 millimeter lens. The next camera was the Canon 700D with the 18 to 55 lens, a little bit dearer, £250. The next one was the 1000D. This is just the body only, and that is only £85 with a lens. I'd say that's about another £150 for a good camera. The next one was the Nikon D3100. This comes with the 18 to 55 lens. All in all, a great camera. So guys, hope you enjoyed that video. That's everything I found that is cheap. All I searched was cheap cameras. Those are the ones that showed up. So if you're into photography, guys, and you see me in school, just come up to me, talk to me. I'll happily give you a couple of tips, tricks, anything you want. I might include a photography that I'm going to do right now because outside at half past eight I am going to be taking moon photos because it's a full full moon tonight so thank you very much for watching down in the description is my Instagram photography page sub to my channel to see more videos like this thank you if you made it to this point in the video thank you very much please subscribe to this channel like and comment on this video and follow my instagram which you can see above i'd also like to thank in this video yeps for letting me photography photography photographer at the celebration event